God damn it, the whole thing's ruined. <laughs> Hello there, you beautiful people, and welcome back. And the way the mic shit. Everything's ruined. <laughs> the light. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, my leg. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Hello there, you beautiful people, and welcome back. My name is Huda. And as you all know, today is Sunday. So, welcome to Spooky Sunday. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He used to be welcome to the crack corner, but your boy, he loves horror, and he just has to go on and do some scary stuff with you all, at least on one of these days during the week, so I chose Sunday. Why not? Spooky Sunday has a better ring to it anyways. Uh, so we're going to continue with Llama Arts Animation. Roll the footage. Alrighty guys, as you know, today is my cheat day, so this is what we're going to be doing. I'm over here in the corner. By the way, I don't know if I'm... Ah, Alrighty guys, first animation, Deep Web Experience Animated by Llama Arts. Llama Arts, please, no copyright. Please, 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 very please. Pretty please. Pretty please, man. I'll always make sure to link you. Comfy, ready, I hope y'all are ready. Got your chips, your Doritos, Dynamitas, Hot Cheetos. Got some soda, whatever the heck it is. I got my bag of Dynamitas here, but you know, I can't even eat any of them because it's going to get all up in the microphone. Alright, let's just start it, shall we? I feel like I need to go and like. I was reduce. on tour trying to find some really deep websites. I was in a chat room where people normally shared links to deeper websites and weird pictures and videos, commonly illegal pornography. Some guy named Vintage Triple X posted a link without describing what it was. Oh no 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 no! What are you it, doing? And it took me to a black screen where a big video box eventually popped up with a play button. The video Stupid. thumbnail was a dark room only lit by a TV screen. Out of curiosity, I clicked play and began to hear the sound of TV static in the background as lines of static slowly swam down the video screen. There was no seek bar on this video. Then I noticed something slowly begin to emerge from behind the wall. Oh, you see, at this point, I would have left. Dressed in all black with some kind of black mask on as well. I started to suspect it was a jump scare video, and I thought I was right when the figure leaped out and ran to the screen in less than a second. It still got me, even though I was expecting it, but then it got strange. The person had their face in front of the screen, slowly moving around as if he could see me and was observing me. Then I heard a crackly, demonic voice say something. It came from the video. It repeated itself, and I could make the phrase out to be, Ask me something. I was really confused. I tried typing something, but there was nowhere to enter text. Then he said, No, not the keyboard. Say something. God damn it, nah, dude, my don't heart say anything. The inside of my chest as he said this. I opened my mouth and mumbled the words, You can hear me? Oh. It responded with, Yes. I was uncomfortable now. I thought it was a video. I pressed pause, but it didn't do anything. He said, Of course, it's not going to do don't anything. Try to leave. I, I want to talk. talk. All right, sorry guys, I had to pause for a second. All right, let's get back to this. I don't know where we frozen. were. In fact, none of the keys were responding on my keyboard. Ah. There was a long moment of silence before my webcam began flashing as if it were on, and my face popped up on the screen. Oh no, you see there, that guy? You just you just go and you shut your laptop. Your address, and then we can meet. I started to panic, smashing every key on the keyboard, spazzing the mouse, but it did nothing. I had my finger on the power button, but it also didn't do anything. Rip that battery out. Turn off. The voice was saying crazy Rip that things battery like, out. "You're stuck here. I will find you. Oh, no. Don't even bother." I snatched the screwdriver sitting on my desk, unscrewed the four screws on the bottom of my laptop, and took out the battery. The computer finally turned off. I was gasping for air as if I just ran a marathon. My heart was pounding five times as fast as it should have. Understandable. I have since left my laptop off after that, 
and have resorted to using my desktop as my main computer. This boy has a I'm laptop and a desktop. He definitely didn't have enough time to get my address. Yo, he's right under your bed though. Alrighty, so, next animation, True Home Alone Stories, Episode 1. Animated by yours truly, no, not yours truly, no, by Llama Arts. That's what I meant to say, goddammit, no. Llama, please. Okay, let's go. It was very common for me to be home alone at night, as I only lived with my dad, and his shifts would constantly shift from days to nights. This happened around the time my dad was doing night shifts. I would stay up really late on these nights watching movies. It's always taken me a long time to fall asleep, so after turning off the TV to go to sleep, I probably laid there for a good half hour. Then I heard a toy fall over in my toy closet. It was nothing too suspicious, but it still creeped me out. But then the doorknob no. to my closet started to wiggle until finally unlocking the door. I hid under my covers, not making a sound. It was strangely quiet for a good two minutes, so I finally peeked Bruh, my Bruh, the moment I heard that in my freaking closet, I, I wouldn't dance. To my bed, looking down at me. I screamed at the top of my lungs and began hugging the wall behind me. The figure looked out the window and then just walked away out of the room. I stayed in that position for like an hour before checking if he was really gone. The front door was left wide open. So no, oh no! Worked. I didn't get a minute of sleep that night. No, that's it? Yo, wait, hold, hold on a second. Right, this we. No, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole story. Wait, guys, <laughs> I would have legit gone <laughs> and just gone to the neighbors, man. The moment I heard that tour drop in there, there is no way in heck I know my closet very well, especially when I'm little, that anything would have fallen out of that closet. <laughs> When I've fallen, dropped, or anything, if there was even the least bit of shuffling, I would have ran. I would, I wouldn't have even bothered. Oh my god! All right, you know what? That was way, way too short. <laughs> we gotta do this next one right here. We, we just have to do this next one right here. This so, oh wait, point. it's called True Home Alone Stories, Episode Two, animated, and it's a short one as well. Point of view of a sixteen-year-old girl. I used to have a boy living next door to me that was obsessed with me. His oh, name was no. Joey. Every time I would go outside, Joey would come outside as well, as if he were watching oh, no. his windows waiting for me. He was 17 and very weird. He didn't seem to have any friends, as he was always home. Oh, my guy's 17. Oh. It's possible that I didn't like this guy, but he wouldn't get the message. And has no so friends. Oh, that's... <laughs> that sounds like, like me when I was 17. And to leave me alone. The look on his face that day is something that won't leave me. It was the kind of angry look a like toddler looking all anime. when they can't have a toy. Coming from a 17 year old, that's much more disturbing. Yeah. One night, my parents <clears throat> left me to watch the house. I was working on a school project when I felt my bed shift a little bit. I looked under my bed. I screamed as I saw Joey laying under my bed. I ran away while he tried to crawl out from under my bed. I ran to his house and rang the bell at least ten times, telling his parents about it when they opened the door. Joey never Bruh. came out of my house, so I called the police. His parents begged me not to, but I ignored them. The police found him still in my room and arrested him. Apparently, he admitted this wasn't the first time he had hid under my bed. They also found pictures of me scattered across his room. The most disturbing one was of me sleeping, and it was taken from inside my room. No! You see that last one, that last one really, really just got to me. Oh my god, what? Yo, okay, yo, hold on. I, I, I know, I know, at that age, sometimes, some dudes, you know, they're just very lost when it comes to chicks, but what the was that? No! 
No! I'm so glad he was caught. I'm so glad he's gone. But he was in there several times. And all he did was take a picture. You're lucky that's all he did. You are completely 100% lucky. That is all he did. Oh, man. God damn. Oh. Alright, well, these, these, these stories are getting to me. That was some good animations right there. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Llama Art, still a big fan. Loving your work right here. Ah. Uh, I guess that's it. We just saw, instead of two, we saw three, but it's because, <laughs> you know, the second one was short as heck. <laughs> I feel like watching more with you all, but we're pretty much at the end of Spooky Sundays. Like, you know, you guys know it's my cheat day. I'm not going to edit this too much. Oh, man. Oh, oh that last one. Oh. oh, and that first one. <laughs> that first one. Oh, I would have ran. That second one. I would have ran. <laughs> <laughs> the last one, that chick was smart. Great job. Doesn't matter to me if their parents are begging. I would have done exactly the same if I was in her situation. She handled that properly. Props to her. And all right, well, guess that's the end of it. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for joining me on another Spooky Sundays. And it's going to be Huda. See you on the next episode, all right?